So today on Rick's Gadgets, I have a DIY under the cabinet lighting project. I'm going to show you what I did to install it and the, uh, the necessary components that I used and what made it a little bit more compact and neater. So stick around. So what I ended up using were these LED strip lights. Um, these can be cut. Um, and we, it shows you where you can cut and there's solder points on here um, on the cut points where you have your plus and minus and it has an adhesive on the back that will stick up underneath the cabinet and what this does is it wires up to any type of 12 volt power supply I'll have some links in my descriptions below of the type that I used but this is really nice because you basically cut it to the length of your cabinets and just solder in your wires. And uh, I'll show you how I've got it uh, mounted up under the cabinet here. So as you can see, I just have it stuck right about an inch back of the cabinet. And what I did was I drilled a small little hole and uh, my cabinets are open behind and this allowed me to go up and I have my power supply on the top of the cabinet. And I just did it for all the cabinets underneath the same way. And my wires go up to the top. And now I'm going to show you how I ran my 12 volt line up to the top of my cabinets. So what I did was I sacrificed one of my receptacles and I bought one of these switches. And this will switch the, the receptacle below it or you can cut the tabs and run the switched wire up to another point and what I did was uh, since this is an interior wall it was easy to fish a wire uh, normal you know coax or not coax but uh, Nomex wire up to the top of my cabinet and I still have the use of this receptacle it's not switched so you can plug something in it's on all the time but the switch does control the lights. So if you just want a quick installation on it, um, you can use this type of switch and just mount your power supply up underneath the cabinet and wire it up that way. Or you can do it like I'm going to show you how I ran it to the top. And now I'm going to show you on the top of the cabinets the power supply and how I have it wired and hooked into my home automation system. So excuse the mess, but what I did was I just put in a outlet here and I have it uh, you could just plug it directly in I have the 12 volt power supply there and this is a Wemos board and a relay and what I've got this for is for the home automation to switch the power supply off and on and as you can see I have the gap here that runs down and this wire here goes over to the one beside the stove on the other side and this is all it takes. It's a, you can get smaller power supplies. I just had this one sitting around, so I decided to use it. But they have them the size of almost like a uh, laptop power supply. But I will link all these things in the description below. And that's all it takes to set up these under the cabinet lights. And a quick demo here, Alexa. Turn cabinet light off. Alexa, turn cabinet light on. And that just shows you the difference between them off and on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to you coming back and checking out my future videos.